Cooking with Love. Hi, I'm April Love, and we're Cooking with Love. So today, we're not actually cooking. We're going to be drinking something. We're going to be juicing something that I call ginger juice, even though it's got more than just ginger. But I love ginger, and there's only four ingredients. It's kind of awesome and super easy. So all you need is a juicer. This is my juicer. It's missing a piece because I lost it but it still works. And um, the four ingredients are lemon, <laughs> beets, don't be afraid, it's only a little bit. Don't be afraid of the beets. Carrots, and ginger, which I always thought looked like if a giant hit his finger with a hammer, it would look like that. Giant fat fingers, but they're cool and weird. So we're only gonna actually use a little bit of lemon, maybe not even this much, probably about that much ginger because it's very strong and it's kind of spicy hot, it's kind of wonderful, but we're gonna peel it. And then only about that much beet, so don't be afraid, those who think they hate beets. But first, this is one of my favorite snacks. Dehydrated beets, which sounds kind of weird or maybe a little gross, but they're so delicious. And we're gonna have a little snack first, so I'm gonna have couple of my friends come try a dehydrated beet and give their honest assessment. All right, Kenji, you're first. My hands are clean. Dehydrated beet. You gotta eat the whole thing. Rich in iron, extremely good for you. Listen to that crunch, it's like a red potato chip. Good? It's good for a beet. <laughs> honest assessment. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. I love them. Okay, Sarge, your turn. Dehydrated beets. We're getting healthy, people. Bam! Dehydrated beet. <laughs> Listen to that crunch, man. It's like super delicious weird potato chips. Good, right? <laughs> I'm not convinced. Good? Mm, it's good. It kind of grows on you. So I got everybody at my job hooked on these because they're really good. So, okay. Don't be afraid of beets, people. Super yummy. So, now we're just going to do these. I'm going to move this aside. We're going to work on the carrots. So these are just um, organic yummy carrots, which I have scrubbed. So then you just cut off the head and the foot or tail, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to cut this in half so it will fit in my juicer cylinder. So you just keep doing that, cut off whatever that creepy dirty part is, you know. <laughs> and then make them so that they're going to fit in your cylinder, whatever your juicer size is. You can cut them smaller if you need to. Ew, that one's weird looking. Oh, I'll cut that weird part off. And then, we're just about ready. That one might be a little bit too fat. And this one doesn't take very long. This juice is really good. The only fruit is a lemon. If you want, like I'm a, a, a ginger addict and I love carrots. So if you want to sweeten it, you can add apples like um, gold, uh, Red Delicious or something, those kind of sweeter apples if you want to sweeten it up a little bit. But I don't, I don't really like to do that. I mean, I love it either way, but I love it with just the carrots. And I used to make a ginger juice at a restaurant in Tennessee and I did put apples in it, but I put way more ginger. And then we're gonna actually peel a little bit of the lemon because we don't want the rind in there. We just want the yummy lemon juice. And I may not put this whole lemon in there. You can see it's a pretty small piece of lemon. And at this point, I might just put about that much in there. Leave that little bit out. And then this, ginger, I'm just going to peel it. And it's only like kind of a little fat thumb amount of ginger, not a whole lot. But if you like it super gingery, where it kind of knocks your socks off, feel free to add more ginger. I kind of want to, but I'll tone it down for now. And ginger is awesome. It's good if you have a sore throat, if you need help with digestion. It's very beneficial for you. So... Move all my happy off to the side. Keep it neat in here. And the ginger is a pretty good size. I'll just chop it in half just in case. And the beet, 
just a small piece of bead. This is actually just for color. Well, it's also good for you too. And it, it, it just adds, I might just add that. We'll see what the color looks like once I get the carrots done. So now I just go to my juicer. We're gonna start blending, juicing. And it goes pretty fast. Just shove the little things down. And I've got a strainer already over here so it strains out any extra pieces. I just kind of mix in the ginger and the lemon and the beet with the carrot. Kind of press that down a little bit. My friends are super excited to try this. <laughs> super excited. And as I said, ginger is very strong in flavor. So prepare yourself. If you like hot spicy things, ginger has a bit of a spice, spiciness to it, which is really nice. Great for cooking, great for making tea. And if you make ginger tea, which I do all the time, you would just take this big thing, you don't have to peel it, you just kind of take like a vegetable scrubber, scrub it, get all the dirt off, whatever, chop it into pieces, boil it in a big pot of water, and you can use that ginger a few times, a few times to make tea. This is really good. And you can make a larger batch of juice. I'm just making a small batch of juice. And of course, if you had apples, it'd be a lot juicier. So let me get that lemon in there. Hmm. So I'm just gonna make a little bit just to try today. And I, used to, I usually have like a huge bowl of carrots. And that way it makes more juice. And it's good to just drink the juice that you make immediately so that all the enzymes are active and alive and, you know, instead of letting it sit around. So I'm going to turn this off. And see, I didn't use all the lemon or the beet because it's, it's red enough. It looks pretty. So for this juice, the beet that I use is really just for color. And the nutrients, of course. Okay, I'm just going to dismantle that, get that out of the way. And see, there's the little strainer that was catching the pulp of the veggies and stuff. So it comes out this really pretty color. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, let me put the, the glasses over here. And we're just going to pour a little bit in each. Look how beautiful it is. Like a beautiful tropical drink. We just need an umbrella. Ooh, somebody's getting more. Mm. And if you like it a little more orange or whatever, you can do a little less beet. You could even put cucumbers in there. You go to town. Okay. And then some people even take this leftover pulp of the carrots or apples or whatever you use, and they'll make breads out of it, muffins, whatever. And mine's actually pretty dry, but... You can use it in breads and for things like that to try to get all the nutrients out of everything, okay? So, all right. Time to eat or drink in this case. So, y'all ready? Come on, gentlemen. I'll get the one that has the most so that y'all won't be quite as scared. You must drink it all. It's very good for you. Sarge, you wanna come back here? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Down the hatch. Salute. Honest assessment. Mmm, I like it. That's, it you taste that healthy. ginger? Yeah. Is it getting you? Is it getting it's you? You taste the ginger? It's good, right? Mm -hmm. It's tasty. Right? Did it, was it better than you expected? About what I expected. But it's tasty. I mean, I like ginger juice. So. Yeah. And then, like I said, if you wanted to sweeten it up, you could add apples. And then it's like you would just drink a ton of it. Are you making faces? Huh? Okay. <laughs> and you I would just... I feel myself getting in better shape. You're getting better. stronger and healthier. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. Yay. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. And that's today's ginger juice, um, typically served with apples, but this time we just did it straight carrots and ginger, lemon and beets, okay? God bless. Take care. Enjoy your veggies, people. Enjoy your veggies.